Hi Libras, welcome back and welcome if you're new. This is your weekly. I'm so, so sorry that it's late. I couldn't find quiet time to record um, the second half of my reading. So I apologize for the delay. Um, I hope it's worth the wait. Um, this is for the week of 19th, uh, May 19th through the 25th. However, when it resonates for you is when it resonates. So take the message how it applies. It could be past, present or future energy. You know, you, um, energy is fluid and um, it may not resonate this particular week. It could be past energy, present, or future. So just, like I said, take it how it resonates. Um, during this week, Mercury is in Taurus. Venus is in Taurus. That's its ruling planet, by the way. Mars is in Cancer. Jupiter is retrograde in Sagittarius. Jupiter also rules Sagittarius. Um, Uranus is in Taurus. Neptune is in Pisces. It's ruling planet. Sagittarius is retrograde in Capricorn. Saturn rules Capricorn. And Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn. <clears throat> fun, fun times in the universe. <laughs> um, there's a lot going on. Um, we just had our full moon in Scorpio. Um, so during the winding phases of the moon, when the moon gets smaller, depletes in size, it's a good time to let go, detox, release, let go of things, um, declutter, de-stress, clean up you know throw out all things you don't need mentally physically emotionally um, energetically <clears throat> our dark moon is going to be on june 1st and our new moon is in gemini that's just what's coming ahead let's get my notes out of the way um, I pulled this book out, but I don't need it. While I was pre-shuffling, I just felt the need to pull this card. It was on top, and um, I think someone has a confession to make. Someone has something that they want to confess, or um, someone tried to move away from something or move on from something, but there's been some type of delay. There's been some type of... They, they haven't been successful with moving away from something. Um... There's been some type of struggle, but I feel like someone has a confession. Um, anyway, this is for Libra, Summer, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. If the video resonates, or if you want to see more of my videos, all my social media is in the description box as well as how to book a personal reading and how to donate to my channel should you so feel inclined to do so i appreciate it all right three more shuffles the libras we're doing the relationship spread it can apply to any relationship in your life romantic work family or otherwise so take a how it applies the left side may be you the right side may be your person although it can flip-flop um don't pay too much attention to the genders we all have masculine and feminine at the bottom of the day the temperance just beneath that so the overall theme of the reading the knight of wands i feel like someone um <laughs> someone had this knight of wands energy and maybe they're trying to balance that out now with the temperance cards the temperance card just beneath it this knight of wands is someone who is um easily distracted <laughs> um very charming young or slightly immature um, moderately mature i'll say that um moderately mature moderately immature you know it's a spectrum if immature is over here and mature is over here he's like right here you know he's he's not all the way mature but he ain't too far away from immature either um anyway this represents action progress in your affairs can also represent relationships or whirlwind romance this could be someone stirring up feelings very passionately um but coming in and coming out very quickly the player the player card the player energy um but i feel like this is someone just doing it out of like you know how young boys go off to college and they just see girls everywhere so you're just like oh i want to talk to all of them that type of player energy it's like 
maybe not even doing it maliciously, but just having a lot of options and <laughs> overindulging, you know? Now this Seven of Cups energy, this comes out in the reverse. So I'm like, huh, um, this could mean someone is, ooh, some of you could be drinking or abusing, abusing alcohol or drugs with this in the reverse. This could be you seeing only what you want to believe. I mean, seeing what you want to see, believing what you want to believe, um, losing touch with reality or creating um, fantasies. I feel like that was accompanying this Knight of Wands energy. It could possibly still be lingering. You could be only accepting the parts of this energy that you want to accept, or only accepting accountability or responsibility for the parts that you want to, seeing what you want to. Um, this could also just be just desires, having deep desires. Um, it says to avoid making... Um, decisions appearances may be deceiving avoid making decisions until um, everything is clear because you see how the smoke is here um, imagine if the smoke is in front of these cups then you don't know what it is there so avoid choosing making a decision right now until you can think or see clearly that's just for some of you um, that's Scorpio energy. All right, the relationship situation, Ace of Pentacles. There's a desire for a new beginning, a new start, wanting to plant new seeds, sow new seeds, new opportunities of increase could possibly be involving money or a new home, a new beginning, success. You could desire a new job. Um, and I think it's more so in regards to like a new home, new investments, time, energy, efforts, what you're thinking about. Oh, who had this? Was this Virgo? Had to be. This was Virgo. So anyway, I don't know. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. This just came up in the, the same place for Virgo's reading. What you're thinking about a success. I think you're, you're, I think I get the same energy that I got from that. Like visualizing the success, thinking about the outcome, thinking about what the success is, what, what, like after you cross the finish line, you're thinking about what comes next. Like happiness, success. It also represents anniversaries, weddings, babies, things like that. But um, accomplishment, that's what you're thinking about what you are feeling emotionally your emotional state is hmm you could be there could be some fear of loss or you could be harboring on what was lost I feel like this is some past energy um, this three of cups over here is knocked over but you still have to the two of cups behind you you could be this is Scorpio again um, yeah you could be feeling emotionally lonely some of you could be unaware of why why things went wrong um why you are why you haven't gotten this success some of you are probably unaware if you're dealing with a player you probably didn't even know you were dealing with a player but this is the libra reading so you probably did know um no shade no i'm sorry <laughs> um this is, yeah, I think old wounds. Emotionally, I think you probably are healing old wounds. Some of you are probably just reflecting. Um, it could represent broken dreams as well. And your behavior involves the King of Pentacles in reverse. You could be feel, um, you could appear very stubborn, extremely stubborn. You could be appearing jealous um, or... Mm. or unwilling to take risks I think some of you are reflecting on the loss like you're thinking about what could happen what could like you it's like you're thinking about all these possibilities right all these possibilities of what could be but you're thinking about what uh, what was lost 
possibly there was a chance before and you're thinking about what was lost and you're un you're unwilling to take a risk like being extremely stubborn not moving forward not taking risks not investing any time energy effort or money you know just not even willing to take a chance with the king of pentacles in reverse we'll further clarify though your person is thinking about I think this person is thinking about releasing a burden. This does represent something that is oppressive or or, or a burden um, with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, it also represents the end of a cycle, the end of something um, with the Ten here. It could be the end of a relationship. It's Saturn energy. They're thinking about releasing this burden. Um, Yeah, I think this person is thinking about closing this cycle so that, like, like let me hurry up and move these wands, like, wherever they're taking them, wherever, let me get through this so I can be done with this. I think this person is thinking about closing out the cycle because it has been a burden. It's been a lot of hard work. Um, I think they have been driven and they've had a lot of ambition, but now they've, they've gotten to a point where they're ready to just close it out and like wrap it up and finish this cycle close out this phase you know they're thinking about how much work it's been how much how hard it's been how heavy this load has been to carry by themselves emotionally hmm emotionally i feel like they don't um i feel like they see um, there's been some misunderstandings. I feel like emotionally they're disappointed as well. This represents disappointment with the Five of Cups, but I think this is a delay. I feel like this person, um, this person, there, there can't be, this person is still, as long as you're in this energy, it's like you are thinking about, okay, oh, let me slow down, slow down, Sean. you're thinking about the ending the success right what happens after this this load has been taken care of right you're thinking about it but you're not doing anything you're not helping this person carrying the load the person carrying the load is carrying the load alone and i think they're having a hard time doing it because they're doing it alone you're over here dwelling about the losses and you can pick up your two cups and move on the two of cups is partnership emotionally this person knows that there's a delay there's a spiritual block possibly because you're over here sulking and thinking about the past thinking about what was lost thinking about what is no more wasting time over here mourning these three cups that are de depleted um this new start is this new start this good news is delayed um, there's, there's problems communicating, there's problems with travel, there could also be fertility issues for men, projects and travel have, um, delays or trouble. Um, this could also represent misunderstandings, but I think there could be a new passionate beginning and this person knows it, but they also know that it's being blocked and emotionally, I feel like they just are disappointed. They're just disappointed. Their behavior. I feel like they are making spiritual progress on their own. I feel like they're um, doing some higher learning. You could be dealing with the Taurus or someone who has Taurus in their chart, chart with the Hierophant here. They could be seeking uh, advice from a mentor or higher education. They could just be making progress on their own or they could appear to want to uni to build or come together with you this does represent unity and marriage it's earth energy taurus energy um seeking guidance yeah i think this person does want progress we have two fives here let's excuse me let's clarify the whole spread for libra summarizing venus and jupiter Three more shuffles to clarify the whole story.
tower. The tower and the ace of pentacles. I think someone um, suddenly realized. I think all of this is like together. This tower and this um, knight of wands. I feel like someone realized that their efforts were kind of sporadic. They were just in and out. They were um, possibly a little bit of a liar or would make empty, kind of like empty promises, make, say things and not um, withhold their end of the bargain. I feel like all of this is just like a big revelation. They want a new beginning. They want to start building again. Um, they realize <clears throat> this is also deceptions in the in the reverse. I feel like they realize where there have been deceptions. The Tower card is 16, breaks down to a 7 as well. Um, I feel like this person realizes they want, they realize they wanted a new beginning. This is uh, Scorpio energy with the Tower card. This is unexpected feelings or um, thoughts break down an illumination um, something is something has been made clear there's been a collapse of ideals or way of a way of thinking disruptive change there's been extreme change whatever it is it's causing this someone to want a new beginning or um, a new opportunity to present itself possibly a, an opportunity to rebuild the tower possibly this tower came crashing down there may be an opportunity to rebuild the tower to start fresh to um, put new effort new energy sow new seeds you know what i'm saying okay the eight of swords oh this person is giving themselves whoever this is whether this is you libra or your person we have the eight of swords with the six of wands someone is driving themselves crazy thinking about i think they're doing some shoulda coulda woulda stuff you're driving yourself crazy thinking about um what could happen what could be right <laughs> you're driving yourself crazy fantasizing i feel like there's definitely some fears there's a lot of fears. I don't feel like there's any action here. Even though this is a wand, I don't feel like there's any action here. I feel like this is all fantasy. You're thinking about this. You're visualizing it. You're picturing what you want it to be, what it could be. Thinking about, I think you're just kind of like dreaming. But with this Eight of Swords, you feel restricted. You feel mentally restricted. There's some fear here. There's no um, action being taken towards this. Like I said, this person is carrying this load on their own. Um, what am I doing? I'm going to the wrong card. Yeah, you're stuck. This is Gemini energy with the Eight of Swords. You're feeling restricted, unable to take action, bounded by your fears, anxiety. Um, you could be closed-minded. I don't feel like you're closed-minded. I feel like you're very open-minded and very um, your ima imagination is very vivid, but for whatever reason, you feel trapped possibly just by fear and then we have another eight the eight of wands so we got eight six eight five august august 5th and august 6th might be significant dates for you anyway we have the eight of wands and the eight of i'm sorry in the five of cups the eight of wands represents fast moving situations news travel um, it's also my shoot your shot card. <laughs> Someone. Um, it's fast moving situations, creative flow messages with the eight of wands. Could also this is a Sagittarius energy. Could also represent travel, just action. Could also represent changing career. But for this um, extra energy, for sure. Um, I don't understand this two together, honestly. maybe this just ha this just happened so fast like this energy kind of hit you fast this emo cuz this is emotional energy so maybe um this reflection you know just kind of came out of nowhere that's really what i get from that let's clarify the 8 of wands please 
two of pentacles yeah i feel like you're just trying to balance it out you're just trying to Two eight five twenty eight. Um, I don't know. I feel like some you're just trying to balance it out. You're just trying to maintain balance. Um, because yeah, I feel like these emotions kind of hit you out of nowhere. They came in really quickly. Or it could also be spiritual messages, because the wands can be spiritual energy as well. So you could have been getting spiritual messages really quickly and about the situation or something and. There's been some type of reflection. Could be sadness. Could be fear of loss. Um, but I feel like there's just been um, a need for balance. Trying to balance out these emotions or maintain balance because of these emotions with the Two of Pentacles. It's also Earth Energy, Jupiter and Capricorn specifically. We have the Nine of Wands with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely stubborn and defensive. Passionate, but stubborn and defensive not making a move not willing to take a risk taking like defending that position more Sagittarius energy resilient there's one last challenge here there's one last challenge it's like you're so close to the finish line we have that oh goodness we have an eight nine and then the ten of wands over here on your person side and it's like you are just taking a break you're resting this person is carrying this load like I wish the regular nine of wands could come out the man just standing there by the post i mean by the wand um but it's like you're taking a break you're just being stubborn you're defending your position you're not doing anything you don't feel bad about it or <laughs> you don't appear to be to be feeling bad about it it's like you're so close to feeling finishing out this cycle but you would rather just sit here and obsess and think about Think about success and the outcome, but not do any work to actually get towards it. You are just not willing to take a chance. And you I feel like you are in a place where you don't see or you or you're uh, rejecting certain opportunities because you're in this defensive and this stubborn nature and you're not willing to take any risks because you experience some type of loss. So you don't want to take any any risks right now. Meanwhile, this person is trying to close out this cycle. I think all they're thinking about is like finishing out this cycle um, so they can lighten this load, put this like release this burden and plant new seeds. This is the ace of pentacles here. They want new opportunities. They want a new beginning. They want they're ready for a fresh start. They're ready for new opportunities, but this is what is is what they have right now. This is what they're dealing with right now. And I feel like they're just dealing with it the best they can, but they really want a new opportunity and it's really what they're thinking about. with the ace of wands we have the king of cups i think they know that there's uh, emotionally i think your person is balanced emotionally balanced with the king of cups you could be dealing with a um cancer pisces scorpio specifically libra or scorpio but i think this for you i think this person knows that this is delayed because you've got to get to this king of cups energy to where a, a place where you're emotionally balanced and maybe you are trying to get there with the two of pentacles and the five of cups here maybe you are trying to get to a place of balance because these feelings hit you out of nowhere but i feel like a lot of you are just ignoring them and not dealing with them head on like you should seeing only what you want to see you're deceiving yourselves that's not abnormal at all libra um but i think this is your person is emotionally balanced but they know that there's a delay with this new beginning um and they know that you need to acquire this emotional balance this person is loving generous supportive loyal sensitive charismatic romantic male or female um, and I feel like they are emotionally mature and they're just waiting on you to match their energy so that there can be a new beginning here. They see the opportunity. They see the 
yeah, they definitely see the opportunity for a new beginning. We have the Ace of Pentacles twice and the Ace of Wands. So they see an opportunity. We have the Hierophant here, and then we have the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Look, you over here stubborn as hell, and this person is just like, what you want? What you waiting for? Um, this person, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, specifically Taurus, especially Taurus with the, the Hierophant. And the king of pentacles or you could just be being influenced by this energy this taurus energy um you could be wanting to settle down because venus is in taurus right now venus rules taurus this is venus in taurus right here you could be feeling this person could be feeling like very secure very stable um very um they could be they could be feeling very responsible or doing what's responsible for themselves. They could be feeling, um, mm, just, yeah, th I think this person is just feeling very secure. Um, I feel like they feel secure within the connection. They feel secure within themselves. They understand what's going on. And then we have, I think Taurus energy is just an influence here. get one more for the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles, please. Page of Swords and the Three of Swords. So I feel like there's um, new communication about some possible deception, some heartbreak. Um, I feel like there's some spying. <laughs> yeah, definitely some spying with the Page of Swords. There's some spying. This person could be spying on you um, because they're, uh, or Libra, you could be spying on someone, whoever this side is, this left side is. Um, you could be spying on someone and obsessing about your happy ending, looking at this person, you know, standing in their power being in this king of cups king of pentacles nature you could just be like oh man like yes this person is perfect like oh we could be so great together this we could be so successful like just visualizing your happy ending but you could be feeling i don't know i feel like there's a sense of you feeling sorry for yourself because of this energy and because of this deception um but i feel like you're in your own way this person sees the opportunity for a new beginning and I feel like they are ready and they're just waiting on you to get out of your own way. They're waiting on you to help them finish, close the cycle out so that you can begin a new phase. Because what are you doing? You're standing there looking at these cooks like what are you doing? You're you're taking a break, you're resting. Yes, things have been hard, the load has been heavy, but your person is carrying it and you're waiting. You're taking a breath, you're taking a water break, you're you know, visualizing things, you're pussyfooting around and got your head up in the clouds and your person is just like, I'm ready. What are we doing, ma'am, sir? Um, I feel like there's definitely some spying, um, some healing taking place. There could have been a third party situation in the past. Third party could be person, uh, a person, a situation, a job, anything that's... Um, it could have been this person's own deception as a third party or this person's fear whoever there's definitely some spying there could be some small light communication but i don't feel like there's any heavy communication if any and if it is it's probably very short um i want to say silly but like childish like um okay what was the point of that type of communication like not actually getting to a point um, but this person, there's some sorrow here. There's, there's definitely some sorrow. Um, that probably why this person is spying and not saying anything. Let's clarify the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles, please. One more. Uh-oh. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This person is ready for the Ten of Pentacles. 
this ready this person is ready for you know the happy ending they're ready for um you know ultimate prosperity protection happiness stability within the home within the family connection with you um or just period um this is mercury and virgo energy they're ready um for their ultimate family situation this is love and support from family and close friends can indicate a wedding i think this person is ready to settle down with these two cards here and the hierophant yeah this person is definitely ready to settle down definitely ready all right let's get your advice from the star material deck another long video i apologize my energy is kind of low to be honest tbh one more shuffle all right let's get three cards of advice for libra sun moon rising and venus oh i guess i need to take those cards because they went flying So we're at the Four of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Let's go ahead and take another jumper. Since they're flying. Technically, I just dropped that one. Okay. Well, would you look at that? The Ace of Wands. Got the Ace of Wands twice, the Ace of Pentacles twice. Listen, there's an opportunity for a new beginning. You can close out this cycle. You're so close to finishing out this cycle. We have two tens here. Your person is ready to close out this cycle. And to be honest, if you're going to sit over here and soak and be stubborn and not do anything, I feel like this person is going to be able to close out this cycle on their own. It's going to take them a lot longer carrying this load by themselves. But I feel like this person is definitely ambitious and determined to get through it because they're ready for a new beginning. They're ready to settle down. So if they have to get through this by themselves on their own, they're emotionally mature enough to do that. This person is standing secure within themselves. They're ready to settle down. They're ready to move on there. Yeah. And this is a loyal, generous, loving partner, compassionate partner. So you got to get out of this if you want this person to, um, you know, if you, if you want to catch this person while they still got some patience. That's what I get from that. So let me get my, oh, what did I do with it? Okay. Let's look at the four of wands and the seven of wands. There's a lot of passion, a lot of love here there's only wands and cups here we got a few a few few swords few pentacles but a lot of love a lot of a lot of emotion a lot of passion in this connection all right the four of wands this is my settle down card y'all look at this card it's beautiful oh it's beautiful set the stage for celebration communicate and build your pillars of relationship achieve a beautiful balance i think this person just needs to communicate their desires like whatever it is that you're obsessing about as far as what you your happy ending is what your successful um accomplishment or end goal is whatever your finish line is uh, just communicate that you can put your fears to rest like either it's going to work out or it's not but you are delaying your own success as long as you stay right here you will never know and you will never th this person is ready whoever this is they ready i feel like they've been ready in the seven of wands Protect and defend your own vision. Learn to stand your ground. Strengthen your resolve. Deal with the challenges you face head on. Absolutely. This is you. Look, get out of your own way. You got to deal with this head on and move forward. You got to deal with this head on. You got to be brave. Just as just as fast and, and brave as you were in this Knight of Wands energy, you have to be brave and you just have to put your best foot forward and just face it just be brave and face it and just give it your all and just just you know just do it and we have the eight of cups turning your back on what is known off on a new journey return to nature and listen to her wisdom i feel like you 
you have been in this place for too long it's time to turn your back on this we got all these eights you're definitely working with limitations here it's time to turn your back on this energy this this loss and just move forward okay so with the ace of wands opportunities to hone your highest intellect learn new ways to reach your true potential um embodying a powerful philosophy so yes i feel like this is you learning new ways to approach what you want um definitely not coming at it this way you can use your passion but in a more responsible way and it's time to just walk away from your old ways of doing things um emotionally withdraw from things that no longer serve you and try new things and just face everything head on and look go go for go for your desires like make your desires known discuss it talk about it let's get the likely outcome for you libra three shuffles let's get three cards for the likely outcome for libra sun rising baby sister Dropping cards. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle. I don't like that one. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> so this is, excuse me, this is someone overly emotional, possibly manipulative, or um, feeling a lot of emotional pain. I feel like this is you or whoever this five, whoever this is in this Five of Cups energy. Um, I feel like if you stay here, you are going to be in a place where you are now an advanced version of this knight of wands you know what i'm saying um that's not good so get a hold of this because this person isn't this person is in the upright and you're all out of balance like you're you're the reverse of the king Pen king of pentacles they're in the upright um so i feel like you are a good fit you are a very strong connection you are um there, there's a lot of love and passion between you two <sighs> this uh i feel like yeah you okay you're definitely putting unreasonable amounts of pressure or demands on yourself um could also re represent disloyalty in relationships or financial problems i don't feel like financial problems i feel like this is um emotional abuse and i feel like this is within too and i feel like you you probably are um um withholding emotionally from this person and the connection because you're withholding emotionally within the connection you have with yourself you're not following your heart um completely or you're overly emotional or being emotionally dramatic some of you i feel like you are just mourning this situation a little bit too long mourning this loss a little bit too long just Whatever this was, I feel like you're you're staying in this like, but this was a loss. It's like uh, you got cheated on six years ago and you haven't let that shit go. Like, bruh, you about to miss out on this. You got two of cups behind you. Look at these two cups. Look at these two cups. You got harmony, connection, balance, connection. There could be a new idea, new thoughts, or new approach. Um new clarity about this connection about the um, how to accomplish it or how to gain it or get it back or there could be new ideas about this connection new clarity a new beginning uh, you could be making a decision about this connection be mindful not to make an emotional decision especially a manipulative uh, an emotionally manipulative decision based on this connection this is gemini cancer energy this is Gem, uh, gemini libra aquarius but i feel like you are going to get some type of mental clarity and be some there's going to be some type of assertion it's going to be some type of new start within this situation i feel like a lot of you are just going to get tired of your own bullshit 
to be honest um, because that's the only way you can get changed this is going to be new thoughts and ideas new possibilities some type of transformative energy but this is all about karma and balance with the um, ace of swords it's, you're also a new conquest I think you're going to be cutting out your own bullshit here okay okay let's get a romance angels for you because you deserve it the messages for uh oh I just saw chem chemistry chemistry do I need to take all of these okay I'm gonna show them to you but I'm gonna put them back in a day I'll take chemistry chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here uh yeah all these cups and wands it's probably a lot of chemistry a lot of fire a lot of sex a lot of love a lot of passion a lot of just beautiful energy between you two but for whatever reason you're just caught up in your mind and I, I just I, I'll be honest based on past Libra readings I have every reason to believe that this left side is Libra and this right side is your person you're dealing with someone who's very stable very very stable very secure and I think very driven um I think a lot few of you may be intimidated by that because you feel so out of balance and so flippy flappy however um this person i think they understand and they're not judging you they just want you to get out of your own way because they're ready for this new beginning and they understand that you're delaying it you're delaying it look at that all these aces there's so much opportunity there's so much potential for it Newness, new beginnings. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Listen, Libra. Actually, I am keeping these cards out. It's time to, to take back control. This is what this Seven of Wands is all about. Taking back control, dealing with your problems head on. Um, wedding, the situation involves marriage. This very well could represent marriage, partnerships, reconciliation and peace, um, commitment phase in a relationship, coming together, reconciling, coming together, getting married, married. I mean, stability, all the signs are here. I mean, I'm just saying you deserve love. You are lovable. We all are lovable. But I think, Libra, you specifically need to hear this so that you can heal from this situation and you can understand, okay, mistakes were made. I did this. You did that or whatever. It's not, it's not about blaming. It's about accepting accountability and knowing how to learn from past mistakes and knowing how to move forward in this connection and not in this Queen of Cups and Reverse energy, not in this Knight of Wands energy, in a mature, stable, secure energy, learning how to heal from any past hurt or heartbreak and move towards this Six of Wands, this victory, this accomplishment. <clears throat> You definitely deserve love. There is potential here in this person. I feel like this person is interested in you. If this person is so great and you're putting this person on a pedestal, if they see something in you, you should be able to see it in yourself too. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Ask other people how they get through it. You know, I think you should just ask this person too. You should just make your desires known like this Four of Wands says and just ask for clarity. Ask for guidance. Ask for ask for the clarity on how to deal with this situation let's get one more for shits and giggles any more messages for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path I think this is very much so a very strong soulmate connection it could possibly be twin flame for some of you we do have some mirroring going on some um, yes, yeah, a mirroring going on with the Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups, and then the King of Pentacles here. Um, you very well do have the potential to be a perfect pair. I think you just need to get out of your own way. There's a lot of potential for a new beginning, Libra. So that's your reading. Um, I hope you take heed to the advice of the universe and just take a chance and get out of your own way. Um, be brave and take control of your life. Don't sit around reminiscing, not reminiscing, but don't sit around dwelling and um, dreaming about what could be and chase it. Go after it. Create it. Have it. Experience it. So, 
I love you, I promise. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean. Um, so good luck. I hope that resonates and gives you clarity. And if you want to donate or book a personal reading or connect with me on Instagram, Instagram, or any, any other social media platform, the information is linked below. Check your sun, rising Venus, and Jupiter signs. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, peace, love, and light. Bye, Libras.